Yo, what's up, guys? The Insane Game Freak here. Now, after dealing with a lot of you guys' requests, a lot of you guys want me to start doing anime reviews, uh, particularly on One Piece Bleach and Naruto. Um, no offense, but I want to do something beyond that. I want to, I want to get away from the simple shit. I'm gonna do anime that's just currently airing, currently airing anime are the ones I'm gonna do reviews for. Bleach I'm not caught up with, Naruto I'm not caught up with, One Piece I'm not going to do. I feel I should switch it up with the anime. So I'm only going to, for right now, I'm only doing two anime reviews. And here, and by the time, you know what this first one is. Pokemon, Bessui Shizu. I know there are a lot of Pokemon fans, and there are a lot of you little kids that don't know about JoJo or probably Hoenn or that, of that matter, or fucking, or, and I bet most of you guys don't know about Kanto. But I feel the need to review it because I'm actually enjoying Best of Wishes compared to Diamond and Pearl, where it was just like, "Kill, fucking hate this story." <sighs> so I'm gonna review it as the Japanese episodes come out, and the next review, in the next and in the other anime I'm reviewing, it's also airing. You will see after this video. So let's go. Uh, it's episode seven. Pretty much. This episode is Ash catching Sujadra, which, if you don't know, is the grass starter of uh, the issue region. So the episode pretty much starts out where you got Ash, Iris, and Dento walking in the goddamn forest, and um, Ash gets hungry like he usually does, or every other shonen character does when they're doing some simple task. So they stop to go eat. Iris, now this is interesting because Iris. From the last episode, we know Iris does not have a particular dream. She's just kind of dicking around, honestly. So it's kind of interesting to see that in general. I've, I've always, I think that's mysterious to me. I, I think I think she'll probably find her calling. I mean, at least they realized that the whole contest thing didn't go over well. And we didn't need a repeat of that. So uh, I'm looking forward to see what Iris wants to do as the series progresses. But anyways, they get hungry. Iris go get some fruit, and this is probably the scene that solidifies Dento as Brock's replacement, because Dento cooks. I mean, he, he looked like a Pokemon waiter anyway, so I expected him to be able to cook, and he can, and he cooks a cool version of all the fruits Iris collected, and Ash gorgeous, because it's fucking Ash. Now, you got Iris is over. Iris has a running joke, and the running joke with Iris so far is that, Ash, you're so childish. Feels like a Misty reference, doesn't it? Anyway, but the funny thing is, it's just like Misty, she's a hypocrite because she eats the shit, and she spazzes just as Ash does. And Ash gets out of it, she's like, I want seconds! And Iris is like, I want seconds too! And Dento's like, I put them on the table. They go, look. Uh, Dento, where's those fucking seconds? I don't see those seconds you were speaking of. Did you just lie to us, Dento? Is Ash gonna have to choke a bitch? <laughs> and, uh, pretty much what happened is Sujadra, the, ga the grass starter, took him. So, they find him in the grass, eating the food they wanted, and Ash is like, I'm catching it. I'm catching it. And Ash, and I, what I think they've done, it seems like every time they start a new saga, Ash... They either had to make either Ash was gonna become an old man and become the wisest Pokemon master, or he was going to be dumbed down every series, which is, seems what they went with because he throws a ball at it, not thinking, oh, maybe I should attack the thing, beat it, then catch it. No, let's just throw a ball at it. And Iron's is like, well, maybe he threw the ball. It's like, well, the fact that it went in the ball, at least we know it's a wild one, even though we're pretty sure Ash was not thinking about that, and it's. A, and it's kind of made obvious later on in the episode. Uh, so pretty much it's a girl Sujardra because uh, he tries to fight it using Pikachu. And Iris likes to point out, it's a mismatch. And Ash has to go, I don't give a fuck. And they fight. And she, the Sujardra, uses Attract. This is the running joke that goes throughout the entire episode. That she uses Attract. And she's a track, and it doesn't work. And then you get like a little Chikorita flashback moment because if you everyone remember from Johto, Chikorita was like, after Chikorita was caught by Ash, it developed a huge crush on Ash. That's pretty much how Sajaja is because Sajaja has like a little moment where Pikachu is fucked up in a track. Sajaja tries to use Vine Whip. Ash protects Pikachu, and Sajaja goes, <gasps> and then you know, she leaves. She runs away. 
And the rest of the episode is pretty much Ash trying to catch some jar drug. Um, he uses he uses Mijimaru the second time, attract, fail. He uses Pokeboo the third time, attract, fail. Now before I get into the last time he fights him, fights Sujardra, uh, just to note that Sujardra throughout the episode has little flashbacks of Ash randomly. Um, also, Team Rocket, for whatever reason, is more serious in the issue region, is actually getting direct orders from Giovanni himself. And apparently, uh, the, the information Giovanni gives Team Rocket in this episode is pretty much, uh, it's kind of a hint of Team Plasma, of Team Plasma's appearance. Because he's like, there's, a new, there's an, also another evil organization within the issue region, and to watch out for them. And then Suji, they run into Sujadra, and they try to catch it, but they don't blast off like they do in every other episode. No, uh, Sujadra just runs away and runs into Ash, pretty much. And that's when the whole, I think that's the, that's the Pokeboo thing going off, where Pokeboo gets fucked over, too. Now, before that, I, it's nice to mention that he was chasing... To Jodra through the trees on vines, the vines broke. Ash fell into a li lily pad, started sinking. Gento and Iris saved him. Now let's skip to the final battle. Ash realizes that he's he used Mama Petto the the search for the damn thing when he when he lost the second time, uh, and he did not realize he still had Mama Petto after his Pokeboo loss. So Mama Petto's just flying around, and so he's like, "Oh fuck, Mama Petto fight!" Now so Jodra also used the track on him. Uh, this is where we find out that Mama Petto is a girl because a track does not work and a Dento goes, oh, that's why I use Mama Petto. And not, it's not because it's the only Pokemon that hasn't been screwed over by that move. It's because it's a girl. And I was like, really? We should give Ash more credit. And this is where you realize Ash is retarded, which I thought was pretty funny. Because Ash is like, a track did not work on Mama Petto. Hmm, Mama Petto's a girl then. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, screw it, attack! And they're, they're just like, God damn it, Ash. God damn it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Now, so he fights, and Mama Petto beats the shit out of Sujadra. Uh, and Ash, apparently this is going to be a thing for Ash. Every time he catches a Pokemon, because he turned it, he's going to turn his head backwards, which is an homage to the old freaking Kanto series. Yes! And so um, he, throw, he turns that bitch backwards, like, come on, Pokemon, go! Catches him, he's like, yay, catch Sujadra. And you can kind of see Sujadra when it'll probably evolve and develop a... I don't think it'll be a huge crush, but it will. I think it has somewhat of a crush on Ash. Just the way they made it appear in the anime. Sujadra looks pretty cool in the anime. I still think Mijimaru is just a beast because... And he won because... He, because Mijimaru has a move called Shell Blade. Shell Blade. Like a motherfucking swordsman. If there's nothing else I have to say, fucking Shell Blade for the motherfucking win. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I like the I like the water starter the most in this series. At least out of the three starters of this region. That's pretty much the episode. Um, thoughts. Uh, this not bad, honestly. I just like the homages they kind of give back to the Kanto series, even though this is like the fifth series, the fifth region we're in. So I like that. Uh, I mean, Ash actually won his first gym battle. I think that's a fucking accomplishment within itself because Don and Pearl, for whatever reason, he he decides to go, oh, fuck, I lost that first battle for whatever reason. I don't know what the fuck, why. Um, the preview they get for the next uh, episode is that fire Pokemon. One of the first ones we got we got introduced to is like a fire. It looks like a, it looks like a fire Mankey, honestly. And that one's being introduced, so we'll see what happens next week. I think I think Pokemon episodes come out every Thursday in Japan, but it probably won't get subbed until like Friday, which works out for me. Uh, so this should be pretty fucking interesting. I hope you guys enjoy this animated review. I know a lot of you guys prefer that I get pissed off, but since it's Pokemon, it's kind of a it's a it's a it's a half and half deal. So I may get pissed off at certain episodes more than others, but for this one, it was pretty decent. I enjoyed it. Personally, I just like, I don't know, the feel of best wishes isn't that bad. And you guys will see what my next anime review is. And I don't know, I'll say about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, depending if I feel like giving you a cool review. Eat a dick. No, I'm just like, anyways, lots of gameplay to win. And I will see you all in my next review.
So, Pokey Bradshaw, begin! <laughs>